Jesuits, uh, what kind of involvement did you hear well, from? As a militant atheist in a town which is 95% Catholic, okay. uh, I became uh, uh, known to the Jesuits very soon after my arrival, and in my opinion, they immediately arranged girlfriends for me and things like this and just started surrounding me. And uh, there were a lot of Jesuits involved with me. A brother, as far as I can tell in retrospect, brother-in-law used to warn me about Jesuits. And I used to interpret that as some type of redneck Ku Klux Klan anti-Catholicism. I was an atheist, but nevertheless, I didn't uh, maintain all the same opinions about religions that the various members of religions maintained. You know? So it was like, uh, to me at the time, it was no big deal. You know, I, didn't, uh, I wasn't conscious of these things at the time. I went around singing plastic Jesus and, and uh, shouting my militant atheism from the rooftops all over New Orleans. And uh, as a result, I even met a number of, of Jesuit seminarians who introduced themselves to me as such, who used to sit around and talk about religion a lot. Mm -hmm. And they just thought I was, they, they were very amused with me because I didn't think the Catholic Church was going to be my problem or anybody else's because I thought it was on its last legs and they, uh -huh. didn't, they didn't share that view at all, you know. Mm -hmm. So they found me amusing, mm -hmm. basically. They were, they were rather condescending with me. Do you have any reason to think that they are involved in this conspiracy in any way? Oh yeah, I'm certain that, uh, that the Loyola University in New Orleans is probably one of the most power, powerful institutions in the United States. They were involved in it uh, in a very unusual way, as I understand that uh, they became aware of, uh, about the time they discovered, they stumbled upon the assassination conspiracy mm -hmm. by spying on other people. Mm -hmm. At the same time, they became aware of, uh, of another factor, which was that there was mind control going on, that these Nazi scientists that we had brought to Huntsville, Alabama at the end of the war had been involved as well as in alternative energy projects and mind control projects. Mm -hmm. And so the Jesuits, as I understand it, uh, made a list of everybody they suspected as being behind mind control, financing or anything like this. And then they went out and got those people involved in conversations about assassinating Kennedy because they knew Kennedy was going to be assassinated. Mm -hmm. Because they wanted to investigate the mind control conspiracy and the way they decided to go about it was with blackmail. Do you think that you were subjected to any kind of mind control? Yes, I'm certain when? of it. Uh, well, there's different theories about when it started in my mind, and I'm not certain which of them is correct. However, uh, it could have been as, as early as birth, it could have been as, it might have been when I was in the seventh grade, because I went through a drastic change of intellect at that time, uh, from being uh, very stupid to practically uh, to getting A's and B's all the time, from C's and D's. Mm -hmm. And it was like, uh, or it, it might have been when I was in the Marines. It certainly was happening when I was in the Marines at the time I knew Oswald. Whether it had been happening before or not, I don't know. However, I'm uh, been. And what about brother-in-law? Uh, I think he might have been one of my mind controllers. Uh, I'm not certain. Uh, what, he, uh, what did it? What did uh, his conversations he knew seem about mind like? The, the way he would converse with you. Yeah. Would there be any elements? to that conversation that you think you could have been uh, mind brainwashing or mind controlling you in some way? Well, only what, what there's, a, there's a term the CIA uses, as I understand it, called programming. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it's an FBI term, maybe it's both. Anyway, it's an intelligence community term where they sit down with somebody and basically they, they tell them a bunch of things over and over again so that they will remember them. They call this programming. This is not programming in the sense of mind controlling somebody. That goes on also, however. Okay. The type of, of mind control I was experiencing at the time that I can positively identify as such mm -hmm. was happening to me in the form of something very much like dreams as I was drifting off to sleep. Mm -hmm. Just before I went to sleep, they usually happened. And when I was in New Orleans, mm -hmm. at one point I had dreamed a bunch of radio programs, complete with commercials, it was, it was some rock and roll New Orleans radio station, and I was dreaming what they were saying. 
And this happened a number of times in a row. And when I mentioned that to brother-in-law, he nodded his head and smiled as if he knew all about it. And that was during a discussion about mind control and freak interception of radio waves and this, that, and the other thing.